Hi everyone, this is Anne Dobson, Employer Liaison with the Need Center Employment Program. We have been posting some videos online on how to use different features online. Uh, the last one we had was how to install Chrome. And today we are going to have how to sign up for a Gmail account. Now it's really important to sign up for a Gmail account for a few reasons. One is that um, you may have email accounts already. You may have a Gmail account already, which is great. You could use that um, to access our content or you might want to create another one. Uh, some of your emails might be provided by your school or you might have a Yahoo email account or a Bell MTS email account. Um, you can continue to use these accounts to communicate with your friends, your family, uh, things that you sign up for online, uh, and different, different things that you use email for. Uh, but to create a professional Gmail account is a really great idea because then you can use that account exclusively or only to communicate with managers, with the Need Center, to make online applications for jobs and things like that. And this will cut down on um, clutter and junk in your inbox. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, one of the things that you will need to sign up for a Gmail account is a cell phone that can accept either a call or a text message. So it doesn't necessarily have to be your cell phone. It could be your friends or your family members, but it has to be next to you so that you can look at the text that Google will send you. Okay, so let's get started. So I have my Google and what I'm actually just going to search for is create a new Gmail account. So here we go, create a Gmail account. Uh, it's the first one that comes up on my search results and it is support google.com so i know it's from google so i'm going to click on that on with our video but we're going to click on the big red button that says create an account okay so it says google create your google account so um this is where we were talking about your professional uh account so you have to pick a professional username um and this is where you get to do that so uh, I'm going to put my first name and my last name in, and then my username. I have to I have to pick a professional one. So I'm just going to put my first and last name in again and see if it will give me that username. For your password, if you want, if when you're typing it in, if I'm typing it in now, you can't see it. If I want to see it while I'm typing, just to make sure. I have the password I want. I can click this thing that looks like an I over here and then it'll show me my password. If I want to keep it hidden, I can put the X through it again. So let's um, pick a password and you can use eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. Um, and it counts uh, when you're using capital letters, so big letters and little letters. So make sure you know um, what your password looks like. Which brings us to a very important point. Can you please write down your username and password right now and keep it in a very safe spot? Uh, you don't want to forget your username or password. And a lot of clients, they do forget this because um, you, if you get signed out of your account, you have to sign back into it. And sometimes you can't remember your username or your password because you have so many different usernames and passwords right now, probably. So it's very important to write down Gmail, username and password and keep it in a safe spot. Okay. I'm going to press next and see if it lets me use this username. And it says the username is taken. Try another one. So it says here Ann Dobson04. Um, 
that one's available, I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to write down my username. I'm going to write down my password. And then I'm going to press next. All right. So this is where your cell phone comes in. So you're going to want to put the number of the phone you're using. You can type it in and it's going to send you a message. Phone number in here and then you will press next. In the next page, um, your phone number will be here behind this blue box. Um, and then here it says enter verification code. So you will receive a text or a message on your phone. It'll start with G and then you just type in the code. So it'll be, I believe it's a six digit verification code and it'll be all numbers. Then you press verify. Okay, after that it says, and welcome to Google. Um, it will have your phone here again. Um, and then you can write in a recovery email address. So it's optional if you want, um, but if you put a recovery email address in, what this means is that if you are ever locked out of your Gmail, you can put the recovery email address in and they will send that email address a code and then you can get back in. Uh, you will also have to put the month the day and the year you were born. So you can put that information here and then it asks you to pick your gender and it has many different options for that, for whatever you are comfortable marking down. Okay, so the next screen you'll get, it says get more from your number. If you like, you can add your phone number to your account for use across Google services. Uh, for example, your number will be used to receive video calls and messages or make Google services, including ads, more relevant to you. So you can say, yes, I'm in if you want, or you can skip this. Uh, it's kind of an advertisement, so you don't, you don't need it. Um, the next step is privacy and terms. So you do want to read the privacy and terms. And then when you get to the bottom, you can press I agree. Okay, and it opens up the Google account. Welcome and Dobson. So once you're in the Google account, um, there's lots of different options for you to um, for you to see. Uh, right now we're going to mail, usually it's been straight into mail. So loading Gmail. Okay, it says welcome by Google, simple, smart, and secure. Next. And you can choose a view. Um, this is the default and I'm comfortable with that. So if you ever want to ch change between your apps, so what you saw me do before was go up to this little box that kind of looks like a calculator and there's lots of different apps in there. So there's my account. Uh, we can go back to search. So to Google, um, we can go to your Google Drive if you want. Uh, where you can save lots of things like your resumes, your cover letters, job applications, and things like that. Um, and then uh, a calendar, which is really important. You can start putting in important dates, like if you have an interview um, or an appointment or something like that, you can use Google Calendar. Um, and But what was important today was uh, signing up for our Gmail account. So I'm going to go back to the Gmail account. Okay, so right now I'm in my inbox. You can see over here on the left-hand side of the page, it says inbox here. Um, and uh, we will post another video on how to use some of these features in Gmail. Features like compose an email, how to manage your inbox, your sent mail, um, and then when you're writing an email, how to forward, how to reply to an email, 
and most importantly, how to attach things to your email. So you can look forward to a video like that. So that is our video content on how to sign up for a Gmail account today. If you have any questions, you can email us at the Need Center. Um, and also, um, all of your career coaches and employer liaisons and the entire employment program staff, we are all working from home and we would really love to hear from you um, to know that you are accessing these videos. So please leave a comment. And we would love to know if you have any other requests on how to use online um, tools and content. So thanks and we'll talk to you again at another time. Thank you. Bye.